What up? Oh, I have just woken up. And uh, slept in, which is all good, because I just spent the last two days running 97k on the TDS course, which was amazing, but I'm a little bit of cactus today. So uh, I thought I would show you what I eat here in Chamonix, because I am pretty certain I'm going to have a decent appetite today, and uh, I thought I'd talk... A bit about some new pieces of gear that I've uh, I've been using, had a good chance to test over the past two days. And you know, every, besides running, everybody loves gear and everybody loves food. If you don't, probably watch in the wrong channel. Belly to belly, face to face. Those eyes you take me to the start, sweetheart, sweetheart. So before breakfast, or anything at all for that matter, coffee. Pretty common knowledge by now, I'd, I love coffee, so. They didn't get the best place in Chamonix to get one. Moody, barely had any coffee in the last two days, so. Pretty bloody keen. See me through and you polish me up Oh, I feel brand new the Street dog eyes anticipate me I'm a kid again In a vibrant life Like a ghost on marble steps Into the room To the rain Make the So Ian just gave me a copy of this new French trail running magazine to have a look at. Point de Cot. Oh no. Fuck. Super rad. I love magazines. When I was younger, I would just always be buying magazines. It's obviously like, I love photography, I love design. I can't read this because it's in French, but uh, I'm enjoying looking through it. It's legit. Make the weight of the world feel like Definitely rad. Your street dog eyes anticipate me. I I am glad I got out and went for that run. I uh, I did not feel like doing anything today when I woke up. I just felt like having a day off. But once I got out, got moving, felt good. So it was just a short one, just over 10k, 620 meters of vert. I'm hungry now. Breakfast. I do not mix it up for breakfast ever. Oats every single day of my life with banana, peanut butter. This uh, Terrasana one, it's from the organic grocer here, it's legit, and cinnamon. My favourite movies of all time. No Country for Old Men, Dumb and Dumber, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Good Will Hunting. <sighs> so good. This uh, Vita Coco. Coconut water, pretty legit. Expensive though, so you know, I haven't been drinking too much. Like at home, I drink coconut water every single day basically. I love it, but six euro for a liter. So, you know, I've just been sort of saving it for after long runs, but definitely after two big days out in the hot sun, I'll uh, finish off that liter throughout the day. And I had a liter last night before I went to bed. Uh, quick bit of gear talk the olympus threes first off i don't like i don't really like talking about gear in my videos it just i don't know if it, it just it doesn't feel comfortable to me i kind of feel like it's 
it feels like advertising kind of, but I don't know. But, you know, I like I get a lot of questions about what I'm using and, you know, I understand that. So just some quick, you know, thoughts and opinions that are my own on this stuff. So like I've had a chance to do a good amount of running in this shoe now and I like it. Like it is, it's a good shoe. Massive improvement on the Olympus 2.5. The upper is a lot better, cushion is improved, just the general fit of the shoe is a lot better, and then with the Olympus, always get the Vibram Mega Grip outsole, which is a massive plus in my opinion. For me, like the Olympus has always been a shoe that, uh, you know, I've, ha I've had the uh, the 2, the 2.5, and now the 3. I just sort of keep it in rotation to mix it up with the Lone Peak, which is the shoe that I do basically all of my running in. Uh, and, you know, generally I'm using it for sort of flatter, easy, non-technical recovery runs, that kind of thing, because uh, just a bit too much stack height for me for, for anything technical, but I've always liked the Olympus, and uh, Scotty got a pair as well, like he's absolutely loving his, and he's running everything in them, and uh, last I spoke to him, he said that they would be his UTMB shoes, so, you know, it's just personal preference, shoes especially, just such a personal uh, piece of gear, but... Overall, uh, I really like this shoe. So I'm walking up to my favorite place to eat in Chamonix to get lunch, the Hibu Deli, which if you watched my videos last year, you remember I was obsessed with the uh, sweet potato chocolate brownies. <laughs> that was so good and I ate a bunch of them during the CCC. So when I got back this year, I went there to see if they still had them, and they were, nah, that was last summer, we got banana bread now, which is just seriously on point as well, but when I explained to them uh, how I use them for nutrition during the race, they were super cool and said they'd make me up a bunch of brownies for TDS, so, legends. <laughs> So the sweet potato curry there is dope, Dahl's dope, pretty much everything's dope. But I've been getting the eggplant wrap, so you start with eggplant, choose from the salads that they have which change every day, I get every single one, and then choose from a sauce, I've been getting hummus, so basically it's a wrap loaded with salad, always hits the spot, it's on point. So I've been trying to uh, step up my AeroPress game a bit lately. Ian from Moody has been giving me uh, some really helpful tips mm -hmm. and I've definitely got a lot better I've got to say. I've been making a pretty decent cup of coffee. So I'm going to drink that and have a snack. The best snack ever. The best combination of food ever banana and peanut butter. That's what's up. Yeah, when I was a kid I used to, like bananas used to gross me out, like the texture, just, I would never eat a banana like this, but not anymore. So good, this goes together, so it's like my favorite food ever, like if, Last meal on earth, banana and peanut butter, done. So this is mainly what I wanted to talk about as far as new uh, things that I've been using is this Unived Nutrition because it's, I mean, nutrition is such an important part of ultra running and this stuff has been working out really well for me. Scotty got me onto it, he's been using it for a while, saying how good it was, so... I stole some of his stuff, gave it a try, and uh, I really liked it. So I got in touch with them, and they were nice enough to send me some stuff, which I really appreciate. But 
they're out of India, everything's vegan, which is obviously very important for me, but it's legit stuff. Good ingredients, uh, like this ultra butter, peanut butter, coconut oil, dates, coconut, pea protein isolate, dates, salt, cacao, vanilla flavor. So there's nothing crazy in there. <laughs> this, this stuff is dangerous. Obviously, I'm obsessed with nut butter, so I absolutely love this. But I've also been using the gels, which have been working really well for me as well, which says a lot because I sort of gave up on using gels. I was just I found them sickly and kind of gross. But these ones are a lot thinner than a regular gel, so I don't know, you almost drink them down and sip a bit of water with it. They go down really well. Flavors are good. Espresso, cappuccino. <laughs> so legit. This is my secret weapon, this one, because it's, uh, I don't know, just a bit of caffeine in there. Always gives me a boost if I'm feeling flat. And then the salted caramel I really like as well. Also because they're thin too, like when you put the wrapper in your shorts and you're done with it, they don't, it doesn't like leak all through your shorts and you know you finish your race all sticky and gross. So that's, that's a bonus. Uh, and I've also been doing the drink mix, which again, I sort of gave up on liquid calories as well because it's, they would always, I don't know, I used to do a lot of tailwind and it'd make me feel nauseous after a while, so I just scrapped it, but watermelon flavor, uh, so good especially when it's uh, a hot day, this stuff goes down really well. And also been digging the green tea flavor, which was surprising because I know, know other brands make green tea flavored stuff, but I never tried it because it just always sounded gross to me. But uh, I've been really liking this green tea one. It's uh, just because it's kind of more of like a savory flavor, I guess it's not so sweet. So it's good to mix it up with the watermelon. They also do an orange flavor, which is good too. And that's about it. It's just, yeah, I like to use a variety of different nutrition. I f and I feel like that's, I recommend that because like if you're relying too heavily on one thing, you know, and it's not working out race day, then you're kind of screwed. I like to have a good mix of stuff and then I can just sort of choose what I feel like on the day because for me, it's, it's, it's always different, you know. Sometimes like gels, no problem, but Sometimes it's the last thing I want to have, you know, I want to have something like some nut butter or some, some more solid food. Uh, so for solid food too, I've been using these hard bars, which are amazing. These are made locally here in Chamonix. They've got a few different flavors, but these two are my favorite, gingerbread and apple pie. So good. They're just like the texture and consistency of them is is on point they're not uh they're not like dry and crumbly like i find a lot of bars to be so they go down well been working out that's it that's my current nutrition Chickpea pancakes are uh, dope. I've got avocado, carrot, some greens, and hot sauce. I just wanted to get this stuff used up. I, I forgot to go to the supermarket and I got like barely any food, but I'm surprisingly not even that hungry. So these are rad. I'm going to finish uh, eating these and read my book. I just started a fine balance. Really liking it so far. I just finished the goldfinch, which I enjoyed it. I just it felt like it dragged on a bit in places, but it was it was a good read. I'm on a fiction kick. Normally, I never read any fiction, so. Life bar, hemp protein, and that's gonna do me for the day. But I've just I've been thinking about what I said earlier about how it just it feels so unnatural to talk about gear. And products in my videos like I just I, I don't know why because like I'm obsessed with running so I'm interested in the stuff but it's just 
I don't know, like I just don't think of myself as like an influencer or an ambassador or any of that. I just feel like that's that whole idea is a bit silly and uh you know these videos are just about they're about running encouraging people to run you know life experiences stories coffee food and i'm never gonna you know like i just i make them for fun that, that is it like it's never gonna be to try and make money or say something because a brand wants me to say it like I get some support from some brands like Sealy, send me some stuff, Al Pedimento sunglasses, get some support from Ultra, Camelback, and like Unived sent me that nutrition, and I'm extremely grateful for all that. It's all gear I want to use. Like, I'd rather go and pay full retail for stuff that I want to use and get stuff that I don't want to use for free. And, yeah, like, silly hats, I've been wearing them before I even ever made YouTube videos, so I don't know. I'm ranting. <laughs> Having just said all that, I have just got the new Sunto 9 Lone Peak 4s, which I am so psyched about, and the new sample version of the uh, next year's Camelback Ultra Pro. So, I haven't had a chance to use that stuff enough to sort of give a, a proper opinion on, but uh, that'll be coming in a in another video. I never know whether I should actually eat the food or not in these things, but. Mm. Not too bad. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty typical day of eating at the moment. I've probably been eating a bit more than this actually, which is weird. I thought I'd just be super hungry today, but yeah, I usually go to Hibu Deli pretty much every day, get a wrap for lunch just because it's good value for what you get. It keeps me full, and then I cook something for tea and breakfast oats every single day. Uh, hope you guys dug the video. Channel just hit 10,000 subscribers, which is <laughs> crazy. Uh, yeah, can't believe it. Like, it's never been a motivating... I don't care how many people watch these things, man, as long as everyone stays cool. So, thank you for being cool. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.